Now, a squared minus 10a plus 25 is a minus 5 squared. I, I think we can all see that. Now, 5 is a root of multiplicity 2. So if we followed the same statement that we made before, we'd say 5 to the n is a root, is a solution, and 5 to the n is a solution. Well, I already knew that. Why did I say it twice? And now the claim is that 5 to the n is a solution, and so is n times 5 to the n. And simple calculation shows that's correct. Maybe it's worth doing it. So let's take a squared minus 10a plus 25 and apply it to the function n times 5 to the n. So when you apply a squared to that, what do you get? n plus 2 times 5 to the n plus 2. Now, apply minus 10a, so you get minus 10 times n plus 1 times 5 to the n plus 1. And apply 25, you get plus 25 times n 5 to the n. Okay, so let's gather the terms that involve a n 5 to the n. So this is uh, 25 times 5 to the n. So this is 25n times 5 to the n. And here, uh, n times 5 to the n times minus 50 times n 5 to the n. And here, plus 25, n 5 to the n. Now, gather all the terms which just have a 5 to the n. Here, 2 times 5 to the n plus 2 is 50 times 5 to the n. Uh, minus 10 times 1, minus 10 times 5 is minus 50 times 5 to the n. Oh, there's nothing over there. Well, you can see that all these cancel, and these two cancel. Zero. So again, we have a quadratic polynomial in the advancement operator operating on f of n. And the claim is that this is a two-dimensional vector space. And we will see that the functions 5 to the n and n times 5 to the n are linearly independent. And therefore, those two vectors together form a basis so the solution space is just the set of all linear combinations of those two basis vectors. <laughs>